Well, this is a challenging organization, but it's also a very proud, uh, very storied uh, organization. Representing physicians is a real privilege, and uh, working with individuals like Dr. Thorpe is a real pleasure. Actually, I remember the first day he came into the ICU. It was very apparent that we had a dynamic, young, new physician. Uh, it was clear he was kind of, you know, the a, a deputy kind of mayor of paradise. He's very well known in the community and to watch him interact with the patients was really valuable. I think the one thing that's most passionate to him is to preserving the practice of medicine, is the, to keep that sacred. His passion was, was just so electric. Um, it would inspire people, would make you want to work harder, and he would certainly uh, back that up with his own work and his own eff effort, which you don't always see from people. I'm really looking forward to working with him, helping to make him successful as uh, CMA's next president. I think over the years it's, it's been interesting to watch his growth and development as he's become first uh, president of the Butte Glen Medical Society and I saw him expand his horizons as he became a delegate to the CMA House of Representatives and ultimately to the AMA. Here's a guy who completely understands solo small practice rural medicine but at the same time he's a sophisticated internist, has a fairly a broad scope of medicine and works in a complex, uh, you know, hospital system, understands everything about integrated care. For, first and foremost, our, uh, our patients and our physicians who take care of them and uh, advocating for them is what uh, he spent much of his life doing and has done a really great job of it. You want somebody who's passionate about what they're doing and Dick definitely has that. So he's got the commitment and he's got the passion, but he's got the tenacity too. He's gotten knocked down a couple of times and picked himself up, turned around and gotten right back at it. And uh, I admire those, those qualities in him and think that they'll serve him very well for this coming year. We recently uh, took a management course and uh, the professor talked about the fact that culture will eat strategy for breakfast. And I think what Dr. Thorpe adds during this time where there's a lot of changes in healthcare is that I think he adds that culture at CMA and, and with the doctors that, uh, that is positive, forward thinking, and optimistic. Uh, and, and I think that, that will be transformative for, the, for this organization to be able to handle and respond to the, the rapid changes in healthcare. He came in just two days ago and talked a little bit about what it means to him to be a physician and people left feeling inspired and reminded of why we all put in the hours that we put in to represent physicians. CMA represents a very diverse group of physicians who have different practices, specialties, uh, coming from different areas of the state, uh, but we need to speak with a unified voice in order for our voice to be heard in order for our voice to be powerful when we're united, we are strong. And Dr. Thorpe is, I think, someone who has proven he can do that and will do that as our president. Uh, there are a, a whole bunch of issues that are all coming to bear right now, uh, as tends to happen when there's disruption in, in an industry. And we're definitely at an inflection point in our healthcare payment delivery systems. And, uh, uh, you know, the bills that are coming out, all that is happening, uh, Dick will ride this same wave of this perfect storm and uh, I think it's, uh, it's a big job because of that, but it's also, man, what a time to be involved in healthcare and what a blessing to be president of CMA right now. You picked a hell of a year. ACA, MICRA, scope of practice, SGR, among the many, many issues that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, but I couldn't think of a better president, a better physician to lead us during this time of tumultuous change. And I know we're going to have an incredibly successful year and uh, in no small part to your leadership. Welcome. Yeah.